In this video, we will be learning how to subtract mixed numbers, and in some cases, we are going to have to rename the first number in order to subtract. Okay, here's our next problem. We have 7 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 3 fourths. So the problem with this question is that our first fraction, 1 fourth, is smaller than our second fraction, 3 fourths. So when we get down to this box and we're subtracting our fractions, we can't do 1 fourth minus 3 fourths because this is a smaller fraction. So what we need to do is we need to take our first number and we need to rename it so that it has a bigger fraction. And we practiced this in the video renaming mixed numbers, the video right before this one. So we're going to take 7 and 1 fourths and we're going to rename it. So I'm going to change 7 to 6 and 4 fourths. Why am I doing 4 fourths? Because our denominator is 4. So we want a whole to be 4 out of 4. So now I've changed 7 to 6 and 4 fourths. Those are the same things because 6 plus another whole would still be 7. So I've changed 7 to 6 and 4 fourths and I'm going to add in the 1 fourth that I had here. And this new number is going to be 6 and... 4 plus 1 is 5 fourths, 6 and 5 fourths. So my new problem, if I rewrite it, is going to be 6 and 5 fourths minus 2 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to quickly erase the fractions we had here. And now we can go about solving this problem. So our denominators in our new problem are 4 and 4, so we can skip finding least common denominator. We can skip making equivalent fractions. So in this box, we're just going to subtract our fractions, 5 fourths minus 3 fourths. Notice now that first fraction is bigger, so we can subtract and we get 2 fourths. Now we're going to have to reduce and simplify. We can divide by 2 over 2 to make this final fraction 1 half. In this box down here, we're subtracting our whole numbers. 6 minus 2 is 4. And in our final box, we're piecing our whole number and our fraction back together. So 4 and 1 half is our final answer. Okay, here's our next problem. We have 9 minus 5 and 5 sevenths. It's going to be kind of hard to subtract 9 minus 5 and 5 sevenths because we don't have two fractions. We have two whole numbers, but we're missing a fraction in this number. So we're going to rename 9 to have a fraction. So I'm going to rename 9 as 8 and, thinking about my denominator here, 7 over 7. 8 plus 7 sevenths still equals 9. It's an equivalent mixed number for 9. So now my new problem is 8 and 7 sevenths minus our other fraction 5 and 5 sevenths. We can skip this step because we already have common denominators. We can skip this step. So we're just going to in this box subtract 7 sevenths minus 5 sevenths which is going to be 2 sevenths. In this box we're subtracting our whole numbers 8 minus 5. I took my 8 and my 5 8 minus 5 is 3. And then in our final box, we're going to piece together our whole number and our fraction. 3 and 2 sevenths is the final answer.